competitors are actually important for artists because we don't just do things in the studio anymore. It's just about how we connect or tell a story and how to explore that uh, other things that our life has. Yeah. Hi, I'm Derek Tomana. I'm currently doing my artist residency at the Manila Observatory, initiated by Arthur Philippines. Manila Observatory is called the Philippine Weather Bureau, which is now a basket. So when I started this yeah, traditional media, I became a support of drawings. But I always wanted to have like something more dynamic. So I uh, explore doing video work and other things like digital or web based and that's not drawing or painting. So not like totally like I hate it, but it's just trying to explore more on how I can actually make my work more interesting. I, mean, I want to explore more on not just media based but also essence of doing art itself. Ever since I was a kid, I was you know, interested in science and I also considered you know, doing science during college. I ended up in art school, which is also my interest. So I think after art, art school or you know, trying to uh, do both of those interests in like science and art together, and then I saw this, uh, you know, traveling around. I saw these uh, works that are actually exploring those, and it, you know, really sparks my mind to actually, if I can uh, do that as well, and then like, combining art and science is very interesting for me, and I think it's exciting in a way, because yeah, those are those are both my interests, and, and it started from you know just trying to answer a question, being curious all the time. I always wanted to have like an art science residency here in Manila, which could, I think this is the first time that they actually have this kind. And I think it's always been, you know, an interest of me to find art and science uh, projects or collaborations. How can I actually apply these interests that I have into a residency, but the actual uh, collaboration with scientists or actual uh, using of data from science and transforming it into an art form? I came up with a, a project, like a fragment of uh, what I actually learned and was interested in doing in this residency. It's called uh, Chasing the Center, which actually came from the idea of uh, chasing this eye of a storm, the center of the cyclone. So uh, the residency at the open call is actually about uh, how can I actually create art and also promote uh, climate change. So I thought like typhoons are very important. It's actually a uh, part of our culture, you know, living in Philippines is, you know, it's not just something that happens all the time, it's part of our lives. And I think what most people don't actually get is, you know, this is part of our culture. Typhoons will be there and they will be stronger. It's gonna be, it can happen all the time. So I think it's, I think for me, it's really important to focus on that and try to make sense of, you know, how, how can I actually present science or the science part of it, and also the art part of it, and try to you know, connect those together, and maybe hopefully make sense for you know just to manifest it into small projects like the one I'm doing for chasing the sand. Science is for reason, and art is for you know, exploring that reason.